Thank you, Michael. Happening today, friends and family will start to say goodbye to an Etowah County High School student who died Thursday. Trenton Gibbs died after his pickup truck collided with a school bus in Altoona. Gibbs' cousin says Trenton was supposed to be at a graduation ceremony Thursday night to watch him walk across the stage. The 16-year-old's family tells CBS 42 he was leaving to go pick up his cousin to go fishing when that crash happened. A bus aide and two children were also on board that bus at the time. The children are okay. Trenton's mother heard the news while teaching at the elementary school. She immediately rushed to the scene of the crash. His cousin described the moment she arrived to the scene. When Miss Amy walked up to check on her son that was in this tragic, she heard him praying. Well, she heard him praying and she started talking to him too and he was kind of still praying and but acknowledging her and she said that was her sign that he she knew he was going to be in a better place. Authorities are still trying to figure out what caused that crash. Now a viewing for Trenton Gibbs will take place at 430 this afternoon. It's being held at the Morgan Funeral Home in Atala. Friends are also welcome to attend starting at 5 p.m. His funeral is set for tomorrow. Continuing coverage this morning in the ethics trial against House Speaker Mike Hubbard. Testimony will pick up after the holiday weekend. The break comes after prosecutors say he crossed the line with some controversial business deals. Two board members from the Southeast Alabama Gas District testified Friday that they thought Hubbard was acting in his official capacity as Speaker of the Alabama House when he helped them arrange meetings with the governor. Meanwhile, the mayor of Dothan said Hubbard was at one time paid $12,000 a month for a consulting agreement. Defense attorneys argue that Hubbard performed the work after the legislative session ended. Right now, Alabama Attorney General Luther Strange is urging state schools to ignore the directive from President Obama on transgender bathrooms. Yesterday, Strange called the federal guidance improper. The directive says transgender students should be allowed to use bathrooms that match their gender identity. If a school refuses, they could lose federal funding. But Strange calls that threat empty. Alabama is among 11 states suing the administration over the directive. Well, in Shelby County, a couple is facing child abuse charges after allegedly beating a child with a belt. 47-year-old Tamara Lee and 37-year-old Christopher Lee are also accused of forcing that boy to do yard work with his bare hands. This allegedly happened in October of 2015. The Lees were indicted by a grand jury at the end of April. Right now, they are, on, they are out free on bond. Well, a Bessemer man also faces child abuse charges. 28-year-old Andrew Davis was arrested after police found cuts on the arms of, and legs of his 11- and 5-year-old daughters. Davis is being held in the Jefferson County Jail. Right now, it's a sad story we hear about every year as the temperatures rise. A child dying after being left in a hot car. CBS 42 News reporter Cameron Edgeworth joins us now with that story and what you need to know to keep your children and your family safe. Cameron. Alex, this time police in North Carolina say a baby boy died after his mother left him in a hot car for several hours. Now, according to investigators, the mother intended to take her eight-month-old son somewhere else after dropping her older child off at daycare. She was supposed to return the baby to the daycare, but at some point she forgot. The mother realized what she did when she got back to the daycare to pick up both children, but only one was there. Police are still investigating. I understand that we have a lot of work to do on this determine first the cause of death and we won't know that till uh, the baby is examined uh, by a medical facility of doctors um, and we have to do some investigation again look at timelines and see what happened here now no charges have been filed at this time so how can you make sure this never happens to your family children's of alabama says it's very simple all you have to do is act a is avoid heat stroke related injury and death by never leaving your child alone in a hot car, not even for a minute. C, create reminders by putting something in the back of your car, like a purse or a cell phone. And T, take action. Call 911 if you ever see a child alone in a vehicle. One call could save a life. Live in the studio, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News. Some really important information. Thank you, Cameron. Well, your time right now is 536. 
It's Memorial Day weekend and the community is showing their appreciation for veterans straight ahead. How military members can take advantage of a free trip to the zoo.